Rhinoceros in South Africa are a big source of business for traders, which makes rhino poaching a common practice in the region. But these practices also leave many young rhinos as orphans. Providing them shelter and keeping them safe is a team of vets in South Africa who not only protect them from poachers, but also rehabilitate them. Often by wildlife poachers, these rhinos have found a new home in South Africa's Mokopane town. Dr. Pereira Besta is one of those vets who are working towards providing a safe heaven to these rhinos, whose mothers are killed by poachers. These young rhinos are then transferred to a sanctuary that is designed to keep them safe. My motto is running against the wind, Bob Seger. That's what we do. We, it's a battle that we're going to fight forever. And the thing is, if we don't do something, nobody will do something. And, and half of the, what we're doing is actually telling people about it, getting people to realize the big essence of poaching, what's happening and how we're going to solve it. Although it was not an easy task to move these rhinos to their new shelters, it took six weeks and extraordinary planning to transfer them and make them feel at home. Even if it included the help of animal friends who accompanied the orphaned rhinos. After giving them proper care, the rhinos are then released back into the wild. The different um, scenarios where f firstly, mostly their mothers have been poached. So they, from two weeks, three weeks, a month, six months but all come here and you handle them differently and you get them and you put them in crushes put them in, in give them a friend and then they cope and home to nearly 80 percent of world's rhinos south africa is also a hot spot for rhino poaching <laughs> Demands for rhino horns is high in Asia, where they are used as traditional medicines, resulting into tens of thousands of dollars business. Uh, stop them, stop them now, stop them. This is focus on, 